Hi, and welcome to iRevive, the complete water damage repair kit instructions for the 3G and 3GS iPhone. Step 1 is to use your Phillips screwdriver and remove the two screws on the bottom of the iPhone. Make sure at this point that your phone is powered off and also that your SIM card is removed from the top of the phone. Once you have both of those screws out, apply your suction cup just below the home button and then we're going to gently pry up. You might need to rock back and forth a little bit and lift the bottom edge of the screen assembly out of the phone. Next, we're going to use a flat screwdriver to lift off the three flex cables that are holding on the screen assembly. Make sure that you lift up the flip bar before pulling out the third cable. The next step is going to be to remove the eight screws that hold on the logic board. Note that there are three different kinds of screws. The top two screws, one holding on the camera and one holding on the right next to the number six connector are one type. The other five are a second type and the third type is under the do not remove sticker right there in the top right corner. Make sure to keep these separated and replace them in their respective places. Now, using the flat screwdriver, we're gonna lift the camera out. It's just setting in a little frame. We're gonna lift up, pops right out. Do the same thing for the number five and number six connectors. And then finally, we're gonna move to the bottom of the phone and do the number four connector. If you have a 3GS, you will also need to do this to the number seven connector, which is on the opposite side of the four connector. Once you've done that, now we're gonna go ahead and lift the logic board out with the pry tool. If you're lifting and it's not coming straight up, you might need to pull it a little bit towards you because of the little pin that sticks up on the far side. At this point, once you have the logic board removed, you can now unclip the camera from the back of the logic board. And using your flat screwdriver again, we're gonna peel off the tape that crosses the board on the 3G phones. Uh, there's no tape on the 3GS. Now using your flat screwdriver, we're gonna lift off the plates covering the logic board. This is gonna expose all the chips and all the corrosion that's left underneath, which you can't get unless you take these plates off. Simply use the screwdriver to work around and unclip the panels. There you can see some of the corrosion on the outside. That's what we're gonna to wanna to get rid of. You can see how the plates just lift up. You're gonna to wanna to be careful not to pry anywhere where there's little chips that you can see on the board. These little fuses and things will break off. Um, also, whenever you're actually underneath the plate, make sure you're not digging down, uh, once again, to damage any of the chips. Once you get the bottom plate off, you can go ahead and move to the top plate following the same process, working all the way around, unclipping the clips. Note that on the 3G phones, they are soldered um, on the bottom just a little bit. So once you get the whole top section of the plate off, the bottom still will be attached. So you're gonna have to bend it back and forth and that solder joint will just break. There you can see right there, bend it back and forth a couple times, comes right off. So now comes the time for iRevive to do its magic. Um, we have a little tray underneath to catch any of the liquid coming off. Um, this is just, just to keep the desk nice. You can do this over a trash can, over a sink, doesn't really matter. What we're going to do is spray generously uh, the iRevive onto the board and then we're going to go ahead and use the brush to work it out. Um, you're going to want focus on areas where you see the corrosion but you are going to want to go ahead and work the whole board. Um, also make sure to tilt your brush different angles just like you're brushing your teeth different angles different directions um, some, sometimes those plates are hard to get underneath the plate frame um, so you kind of have to go at an angle to get up underneath there and then you can see you expect it all that corrosion is already gone off there by the bottom left corner and so you're going to want to do this for maybe one to two minutes also spray and clean the back side of the board once you do this, let the board dry for 30 to 45 minutes. Um, do not use a heat gun or a blow dryer. You can actually damage the board. Um, if you have a blow dryer that has a cold setting, that is okay to use or setting it out in front of a fan. 
Now what we're going to do is go ahead and just snap the plates back onto the board. Um, where they were soldered on, it can sometimes be kind of hard to get them to snap back down right. So you just use a flat screwdriver to pop the pins back in. Um, also, it's not imperative that you put these plates back on. You can put the phone back together and it'll work without reinstalling these plates. And sometimes that's a good idea in case the first time you do it, it didn't get clean enough or you didn't get all the corrosion off and you need to do a second cleaning. That way when you pull the phone back apart, you can just go ahead, pull the logic board, and clean it. However, don't use iRevive with the logic board still in the phone. Always remove the logic board and clean it outside of the phone. Now you can go ahead and attach the camera and then we're going to be ready to put the logic board back inside the phone. What you're going to want to do is hold the logic board on either side. You're going to want to lift up the number 4 cable, see how it caught, we went underneath the 4 cable, and then we're going to slide the top up into the phone. I'm putting pressure with my index finger on my left hand, then sliding all the way up, and then setting the back of the phone down. You should see that the logic board fits in there flush, sits down nice all the way around. Now we're going ahead, reattaching the number 4, 5, and 6 cables, and then also snapping the camera back down. It just pushes back down into that frame. Here's the number 6 cable. You can kind of think of it like a donut rolling over a pin. If you look at it back from the side, you're going to want to line up the back side of the donut and then roll it over. Um, should be gentle. You're never going to want to push very hard with any of these connections. Now we're going to reinsert the 8 screws. Remember there's one the under the do not remove sticker. Then there's five half threaded screws. And then there's the two top or on the far left side of the phone. One for the camera and one for the number 6 connector. Once you've done all that, now we're going to reinsert the screen assembly. First is the number 3 cable. Make sure the flip bar is up. And then you're going to, while holding up the LCD and digitizer flex cables, you're going to insert the number 3 and then flip down the white bar. Next, we're going to do the number 2, which is the digitizer cable. You're going to want to gently feel it and then hear it snap down. And last is the LCD cable. Sometimes you have to have the screen assembly partly closed to be able to give it enough room to close. Now while applying forward pressure, you're going to insert the screen assembly and then push it back down to the phone. Last step is to insert the two screws and then power the phone up. If your phone doesn't power up right away, try connecting it to a computer and seeing if iTunes will recognize it. If you still aren't having any luck, go to our website and check out our common mistakes and troubleshooting tips. Once again, this is iRevive Water Damage Repair Spray. This repair process has been shown to fix nearly 90% of all water damaged iPhones. To order this, go to iRevivespray.com and we'll have it shipped out to you the same day.